Hey guys, um, and welcome to Talvin Talks, as you know. Um, today, I would like to introduce you guys to a very special friend of mine. Now, time to time, I may need a break, so I need someone to take over for me, right? Um, this tends to be a very good friend of mine. Um, a little bit of an unusual character. He's very... He's opinionated in some ways, and, you know, he's quite lazy in others. So, um, his name is TJ. He's like a little version of me. I called him TJ. So, anyway, um, I should call him right. TJ! TJ! Come on, boy. Where is you? Hopefully, he should be turning up and... <clears throat> Hello? Hello, TJ. Howdy doody, howdy doody. Well, uh... Well, you Honestly, know, y'all like, know my name and... <laughs> Anyway, so okay. y'all know my name, and I Isn't think I'll come to y'all at some point when I'm going to come to y'all, but what? Listen, I got to go on. I'll talk to y'all later or something like that. I got to go, man. Bye. Okay, so Deuces. he will introduce himself at some point. Um, he will be um, commentating with me time to time over matters that I may be struggling with. So, um, you know, he's like a good friend of mine and, you know... He kind of barks his way around for me, so the more company I get to deal with those tough issues, the more D the more TJ is gonna bark for me. <laughs> so yes, today guys, we are talking. I'm all in blue. I'm all opened up for my blue. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm looking after myself, trying to stay a little fit. But anyway, um, today on you know what it is, guys. We are going to be talking about love and dating and dating um, in the LGBTQ community. And I was wondering myself, um, how often um, do, you, do you think it's um, good to date? I mean, like, is it good to have, like, I don't know, a few guys on the go? I mean, or girls or, you know, whatever you um, identify yourself as. As a person, is it good to tell the other person that you are dating? Um, in fact, you know what I mean? Like, if you're seeing somebody or seeing people, do you need to tell them that you're seeing people? Or can you um, just keep it to yourself and do it the old school way, you know, like put your name on a card and name a number on a, a card and then sort of give it away to someone else and then behind their back, go for a drink and just, whoop, just, whoop. <laughs> I, I've honestly not experienced all of that, trust me. Well, some ways I have, I suppose. So yeah, for me personally, as I am, um, I think love's wonderful. I love the whole, um, me, my personal um, opinion. Um, I love getting to know someone, getting to know who they are. I love intimacy. I love a nice connection. Um, I love love. I love when love works for other people. I mean, when I was in school, I would always be that kid on the playground trying to get people together. I would connect like um, one of my friends with another and then try and see how they would blend and if it didn't work out I'd try and put them with another one. Oh, As I so said, cute. I just love when love works out. And what shocks me the most is as I went into my dating life, especially um, as a gay man, um, I came out in 2005? Four? Four. 2004. I always just wanted to have the boyfriend. You know? Shit, shit. And I remember even there were inc incidences in um, school when I would get like, some of the boys, I'd find it funny, some of the boys would even write like love letters to me. And, um, you know, as a practical joke, and I would actually find it funny. But deep down somewhere, I would think, do they mean it? Are they telling me the truth? And I'd always be gullible. Uh, and I just find it so, even now, even now, even now, um, you know, certain things just get me like, Whoa. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, when you're dating somebody, I do believe that you do inform them, honestly, 
um, start as you mean to go on. You inform them honestly, you know, um, I'm talking to X, Y and Z. And should, should that ever come to the forefront, um, I do believe that you will look like the stupid one <clears throat> and the truth always comes out in the end and anything darkness really does come to light and i think we all know that by now and as much as we try and tactfully try and go around you know discreetly doing these things it still comes out so it's better to be honest right therefore um i i would tell somebody um the person who i you know because you have to round up the people and i'm not saying sleep with everybody on the first day Yeah, don't, you know, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying definitely, definitely, I'm saying definitely get to know them, get to know who they are as a person and build up your moral compass because if you start a relationship on in insecurity, you know, it's literally just going to go that way. I've always seeked validation in my relationships and I think that's okay, you know, because um, I give it also you know, and I'm very balanced and fair when it comes to those things because I don't think it's right that um, you should be with somebody and it should always go one way. You know, <clears throat> you have to find a way to sort of um, compromise, not change, but you compromise your um, abilities to better suit your relationship. And that includes, you know, um, doing a few things that your partner might ask you to do that you don't want to do it, but... Heck, you're with them. You chose to be with them. Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining, really? And I miss Valentine's Day. Um, and, you know, I'm single. But I am the biggest expert, I think, on love. On love. And I would, I would like to think that, you know, that love still works out brilliantly for all those people that are sadly going down that bitter road to which I'm not doing. Because um, I still think, you know, you, you project whatever energy you are feeling and this here needs to stay a positive space down in the comment section, around me in my personal life and us together, you know. And I just also, also, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel and who's taken the time to view and comment. I love you guys. Why, and thank genuinely, you. I'm here with you. You are here with me, as I stated in my first video. So um, I definitely want to be um, getting to know you guys a lot more. So please inbox and give me your opinions and your information on what love is. Yes. Save the world. Let's start with love. And um, because love carries off, it transcends um, relationships on, a, on an intimate basis. You know, friendships, family, you know, you can find a friend and still have that bond that you do with, with like a mother or, or a sister or something like that. You know, something like that. Well, a family member. I've had it. I love people. I love a lot. My heart's very big. I don't think that will change. And it's with strength because there is, there is power. There definitely is power in moving with in love. In the heart. So oh, I wanted to heart. bring a positive feed back to my channel. It's sad that TJ didn't stay. I'm annoyed with him. But you know what? I'll let him explain himself at the end. You know, he can do that, not me. So anyway, guys, I love you and I hope you're enjoying your day. And yeah, I'll speak to you guys very soon. Please wait one moment. Right, that's sorted. Yay, TJ, you could have at least come and spoke to the people, you know, at least give some conversation. That was so embarrassing. Excuse me, I was getting on with my work, man. Oh, damn it, man. What's wrong with you? Hey. TJ, you're an idiot, man. You know what you're supposed to do. I was supposed to be sitting here reading your damn commentary, so now your stuff dealing with this. Look at this paper here. I was the one doing this. I was sorting out. I was the one. I was dealing with it. I was. Oh, what you mean? Do I come back and tell the. Well, I don't, prom I don't promise I'll get it right next time I ride. Jeez, mate. And I'm filming. Oh my gosh, you wait. Thank you very much. Somebody's getting fired. Somebody's getting fired. Ain't nobody getting fired, idiot.